Let's see what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. Oh. The real should be nearby. Oh dear. I don't like where this is going to get end. No, not that. Something else went. Ah. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Hear, hear. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So... How is your new development selling, Leland? You cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise $3 billion. I need to find a game well or a telephone. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. What's down here? Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. I don't know. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson, and he's vice president of the California. I 
in the fucked up for de redevelopment fund, more like. Huh. Hmm? Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Get in the fucking thing. Oh, Operator, Los the Angeles there. Police Dispatch, if it's not too much trouble. Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight, do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Of you the same, Mr. Kelso. Thanks for your help. No, the paper, the paper, the paper, the paper, the paper! Balls. Wow. Oh, there's me? Yeah, that's me. What were you doing I'm with jealous. him? I was Ooh. doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's plan. not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help. He hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, mm. let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Um, right. And now I'm Kelso again. I don't know what's going on. Oh, actually, actually, hang on. Yes. How do I get there? Can I just skip it? Can I just skip to destination? Yes. Well, that's handy. Can I get out, please? There we go. Is there more to investigate? Paper. Oh. Oh. No, it's not. Well, that's disappointing. I got really excited. Oh well, I 
let's just go here. Why am I going at this time of night? It's not going to end well. It's just, it's not going to end well, is it? I mean, there's probably dogs. What if there's dogs? Have you thought this through? What's going on there? Oh fuck, no. It's dark. What was that? Nice wiring job, fellas. Keep them in the dark. Amazing. I'm just going to investigate this very, very quickly. Hopefully no one comes downstairs, because if they do, I may just, like, with myself. <laughs> Wow. So this is basically a dump. A badly fitted dump. I don't like this music at all and I'm stuck. I bet these aren't even glass. There's a door. Okay, uh, let's go upstairs. I'm gonna get like mugged, aren't I? What's going on up here? Why is it shiny? Why is the light flashing? I'm really scared. What's going on? Is there someone up here with me? Oh man, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, fuck you, music. What's this here? Fuck you. Fuck you, scary music. Just fuck you. A man about. Oh God! You lose something, Mac. I thought these private oh. eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? That is you a terrible, a cat terrible routine suit without a gun now. in your hand. Now that's more like it. Oh. Don't get impatient. Oh my god, you fucker, get off me. I'm about to break your goddamn jaw. All right, let's dance. Okay, I fell over. Whoops. You're oh. a worn tough guy. You should learn to take oh. a hint. Get him downstairs and under the trunk. Oh shit, that's supposed to happen. Oh shit. This is a really fucked up government thing. Oh my god, Kelso, no. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. Uh -oh. He's going nowhere. The boys introduced themselves. <laughs> oh my God. What, what have I done? What do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Oh shit. Yeah, I know a good place. 
Pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. What? We'll deal with that German bitch next. <laughs> oh my god. No! Please tell me I get away. 